morning and happy Wednesday, First Friends Boys and Girls. Penny and Clifford here to read another story to you all this, this week. It is raining and dreary outside, so we thought that we would read a Clifford book, something that would be fun, Clifford at the Circus. Awesome. Let's get to it, boys and girls. Maybe this will help the day not be quite so dreary. Hey, you ready? I'm Emily Elizabeth, and I have a dog named Clifford. We saw a sign that said the circus was in town. A smaller sign said the circus needed help. Awesome. Circus is in town, and there's a help wanted sign. All right. We always wanted to join a circus. We ran there as fast as Clifford could run. The owner said everything was going wrong. He didn't think they could put on the show. Oh, no. I told him Clifford and I would help him. He didn't think a girl and her dog could be much help. But I said, the show must go on. Oh, no. The trainer's having all kinds of problems, and there goes Clifford saying the show must go on. Hopefully, Emily, Elizabeth, and Clifford can help. The first problem was the lions and tigers. They wouldn't obey the animal trainer. Clifford gave them a command. What do y'all think, boys and girls? Do you think? The lions and tigers listened. Ooh, Clifford looks pretty rough, doesn't he? I think I would listen to Clifford. He's big. They listened to Clifford. After that, the animal trainer didn't have to worry anymore. Some clowns had quit the circus. The other clowns needed help with their act. I was sure Clifford could help them. All right, Clifford got the lions and tigers under control, and some of the clowns, they needed some help. So Emily Elizabeth was sure that she and Clifford could help. Clifford tried on some costumes. He found one he liked and joined the act. Clifford enjoyed being a clown. He wagged his tail. That made the act even better. <laughs> Do you see the wagon is on his tail? And then there he wags his tail and knocks the wagon off. Oh, that makes the clowns even funnier. The tightrope walker had a sprained ankle. Clifford tried to walk the tightrope. He was pretty good. It wasn't his fault that he couldn't get off the ground. Clifford's so big. Before the next act, we walked out on the midway. Clifford loves cotton candy. He sniffed it. Oh, boys and girls, do you like cotton candy? Look at Clifford on the tightrope. It went all the way to the ground. <laughs> Ooh, and Clifford smells that cotton candy. Oh, boys and girls, Penny loves cotton candy. Ooh. He sniffed a little too hard. It all sniffed to his nose. <laughs> Licking the cotton candy off his nose made him thirsty. He took a drink. The circus man tried to stop him. <laughs> Do you see, boys and girls, Clifford sniffed so hard, all the cotton candy came off of the cones to his nose. And then Clifford was thirsty. That's a carnival act right there where the man jumps from a really high spot into the container and Clifford's drinking it because he's, it's water, he's thirsty. Okay, uh-oh, it was too late. Clifford had spoiled the high diver's act, but he didn't spoil the high diver. Whew! That was close. See, Clifford saw that the high diver was going into the empty container. Clifford drank all the water. Clifford caught him on his tongue. Great job, Clifford. Clifford is so talented. 
the second half of the circus began with the elephants on parade. The biggest elephant had a cold in its nose and couldn't lead the parade. So Clifford slipped into an elephant suit and gave them a hand. I mean, a tail, because <laughs> they grab tails. <clears throat> Do you see Clifford? There's Clifford. He's in an elephant suit. See how the elephants hold on with their trunks and their by, by their trunks and their tails, boys and girls. Ah, Clifford is just helping out everywhere, isn't he? The next act was the human cannonball. She didn't have any gunpowder for her cannon, so Clifford helped her out. Oh. <laughs> there's the cannonball. There wasn't any gunpowder, so Clifford blew into the cannon. See, there she goes. Woo! Oh, that's awesome. He helped her right out of the tent. Oh my gosh, she blew her all the way out of the tent. Then came the grand finale. I was going up in a balloon with a circus man. Everyone came outside to watch. Look, boys and girls. He blew the cannon lady all the way out of the tent onto that hay. Woo! And then there, Emily Elizabeth is going up in a hot air balloon with the circus man. Everyone comes out to watch. Oh, dear, the rope broke. I didn't worry. I knew Clifford would save us. He rushed to the rescue, <gasps> but he missed the rope. We were blowing away. Things looked bad. Oh, no, boys and girls. Clifford missed the rope. Look, he fell, and there goes the balloon. It's getting away. Oh, no, what's going to happen? Oh, no. Clifford didn't give up. He grabbed an extra tent pole. He used some telephone wire and took aim. Oh, oh, oh. He grabbed tent pole, telephone wire. I guess he's going to try and bust the balloon, the hot air balloon, so that they'll come back down to earth. Let's see what happens. Ah. Boys and girls, Miss Penny in these pages. Bullseye! The balloon was falling like a rock. We were scared silly. Oh, my goodness, boys and girls, look. He aimed that telephone pole, made a big old hole in the balloon, and now the balloon was falling very quickly to the ground. Emily Elizabeth and the circus man were scared. But Clifford got there in time. Good old Clifford. Oh, look, boys and girls, he caught them. He caught them before that basket hit the ground. Clifford saved them. Clifford is so awesome. Everybody said it was the most exciting end a circus has ever had. Clifford saved the show. And me, Emily Elizabeth. Oh, look, boys and girls. Yay, that was exciting, wasn't it? I enjoyed that. I love Clifford and all of his adventures. Boys and girls, I hope you all have a great Wednesday. Maybe the rain will stop at some point today so we can get outside for a few minutes. I don't know, but... I look forward to reading another story to you tomorrow. Even though it's gloomy outside, keep a smile on your face. Give your mom and your dad, anyone that's at home with you, a big hug and tell them that you love them and appreciate them. Boys and girls, Miss Penny loves each of you so very much. And I look forward to reading again tomorrow. For now, bye.